Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports and subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, Mikey Garcia, it's been reported by BoxingScene.com that Mikey Garcia is looking to fight again in November. He fought uh, back in early, early, early this year, and now he's trying to fight for a title in November. Now, uh, the opponent that he's slated to fight is no other than uh, Dehan Zalatikin, and Zalatikin's a decent little fighter. Uh, I don't really take him too serious as far as a champion, but he's still a good fighter. And for Marky Garcia at the stage, it's it's a chance to get his to really get his name back in the mix, be the guy who's a notable name, and um, start ascending his way back up the rankings as far as the best fighters in boxing. Now, um, for those of you who don't know, uh, this fight was actually supposed to be on the undercard for Berto Andre Berto versus Danny Garcia, which was slated for. October. Now, that, obviously, we know that that hasn't happened. Danny Garcia is still kind of in limbo and looking to make a fight happen. So, this fight's looking like more November. And, um, you know, Mikey Garcia is trying to pick, pick up the WBC lightweight title from Zalatikin. Now, Zalatikin, like I said, I don't take his reign as a champion in real serious because <clears throat> he beat a guy to win the title. He beat Franklin M Mamani, some guy named Franklin Mamani. I don't, don't know who that is. TKO'd him. So that's how he won the title. But the two names that I do know on his resume, he beat Ivan Redkak, who recently lost to Tevin Farmer, and he beat Ricky Burns in a split decision uh, victory. Ricky Burns is a good name to have on your resume. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. A lot of Ken's a, is a name, but he's not someone that is like a, a world beater like, like that. But still a good name. So Robert Garcia actually uh, had something to say. Uh, or was it Robert Garcia? Oh, Mikey Garcia actually has something to say. He said the following in his boxing article. He said, I quote, The truth is that I'm used to this. I know how to be patient and I know how things happen. So this fight being postponed a month is not much. It's being said that it will happen late November or December. That's why they told me, to, told me, told me so I'm still training. Uh, the fight for the WBC lightweight title will be for the WBC lightweight title. It was originally being handed, handled for October. It was assumed that Garcia and Berta would be in the main event. And they didn't have enough time to finalize the card, so we are still waiting for that card they had mentioned. Uh, it was a very solid other card, but it never got done. I do not know if this is if this new date is going to be this on the same card or not. Zlatan is a good opponent from what I've seen in videos. He is strong. He has a lot of confidence. Uh, he was recently crowned champion, and he's undefeated and certainly willing to fight someone. It will be a very good fight. So there you have it. Um, the winner of the WBC of this fight. We'll have to fight um, Jorge, La Jorge Linares, and uh, you know that'd be a good fight. So, I mean, if, if Garcia is to beat Zelikin, you know, we could potentially get a fight with Jorge Linares. And I mean, you want to talk about really getting your name back in the mix, you know, to beat Zelikin as a champion, then beat Linares. I think that would definitely do wonders for the career of Mikey Garcia, and you know, put him back on the fast track to being on a power pound list and being one of the best fighters in the sport of boxing. So let me know what you guys think. Mikey Garcia, Zalanakin, rumored for November. Uh, what do you guys think about this fight? And uh, For Mikey Garcia, leave your comments down below. Take the time to subscribe. I know you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dania. So until next time, take care, guys.